What's the word, brother? All this Golden Age tech is impressive stuff. Almost makes you wonder how they lost back then, you dig? About that. If we're looking to win this time, I need Savathun's swamp to wash up a few finishing touches for my rig. Cracking skulls and looting halls is your bag, hero. That's why you're headed to her throne world. That pyramid Savvy brought down, it's cut off from the witness. Scorn bigwigs been digging tech we can use out of that burning heap. All you have to do is find them and take it. Then you let old Drifter worry about the kit bashing. Easy. Hey, uh, one more thing. Zivu dripping nonsense in your head, too? She's been recounting some of my more heroic exploits. Dark Ages been on my mind. You know how the past is. You pull the trigger and people die, so you don't have to. Then, someone comes along and wants to forgive you for that. Like it's fine. Won't ask what Zivu's judging up for a killer like you. Wouldn't be polite. Thunderguns down there, though. Been under pressure so long, everybody's looking for cracks. Don't get me wrong, coin to table, she's been through it. But I don't think Sloane's looking to be told it's fine. Cause it ain't. Cause it needs to be ugly to win. And then, you live with it. See you on the other side. You defeated. Zivu Wrath howled their name. Kudazad. I remember that from an old report. Still have a mind like a steel trap, sir. Kudazad was a field captain for Savathun before Titan went dark. And now they serve Zivu Wrath? Taken, scorn, wrathborn. She folds all conquered adversaries into her armies, doesn't she? Not all of them. Just the strongest, or those she's looking to use as a weapon. Not just to fight, but to hurt. 
psychologically. She's defacing everything Savathun touched on Titan. When it comes to her sister, it seems more emotional than strategic. This is awful. <laughs> sure is. You ever been outside of Seoul? Never had a reason to. Hmm. Can't say I recommend it. Awesome stuff while I was out there. Bad stuff. A world colder than you can imagine. Creatures that suppressed the light. My crew. Let's just say we wore out our welcome. Creatures started closing in. Trigger fingers got itchy. Some of us froze to death. A lightless final death. The others... They didn't go so quiet. Not until I shut them up. Not sure how long I stayed after that. Had to mod my ghost to survive. Used the parts from... I did what it took to get off world. And now I'm here. I'm no stranger to combat, but... How did you leave it all behind? I didn't. Some things you carry with you forever. But eventually, they stop feeling too heavy to lift. Thanks for the drink, Drifter. <laughs> Anytime, Sloan. Anathema. Calamity. That which cannot, must not come to pass. A wordless denial. A fleeing god. Betrayal. And escape. The pursuit for the final shape. <gasps> We're almost there. My link with Asa feels crystal clear. It's a little frightening, but strangely comforting, too. A lot changed while I was gone. It feels like... like the entire universe moved on without me, and now I'm struggling to catch up. Old enemies became new allies. New enemies wield the light against us. And old allies... Friends, like Amanda. Sometimes I wonder, 
If I returned to the tower, would it even be my home anymore? Or would I just be a phantom? A forgotten memory wandering its streets at night. Zivu Arath's voice keeps telling me I don't belong there. That the battlefield is my home. That it always has been. Maybe she's right. Maybe reliving what I went through over and over again is a way for me to stay in familiar territory. To remain in the hell that I know. And avoid the one I dread. Either way, the mission comes first. I have to see it through to the end, regardless of where I end up when it's done. forward march of time has a humorous way of looping in on itself, doesn't it? In some ways, a long-lived perspective makes it difficult not to see trends die and resurface. Do you think that's how the witness sees us? Variations of potential, or lack thereof? What's really on your mind? Slow. She is singularly focused on her mission. That type of focus forget to come up for air. It's like a death when it's over. Your command can be an anchor. Keep her from drifting. That's what I try to do for you. I seem to recall pushing back against your methods quite often. The Dark Age drove us to extremes. Your style of leadership is more refined than mine. It wasn't long ago that I was your pupil. Since then, I'd like to think we've developed a trust beyond authority or duty. How did you foster that friendship while being my superior? You're not listening, Zavala. I didn't. Remember, you left my tutelage. All I did was give you the lessons I thought you needed to survive. Nothing more. You're saying I can't be all things. I'm saying I can't tell you what you want because our friendship was not of my making. When the Iron Lords fell, when the Red Legion caged the Traveler, when the pyramids filled our skies, my heart was not open. You were. Despite your doubts, others see you as a pillar of strength. They're drawn to the shade you provide. Just stay standing. <laughs> 